Hello everyone. My name is Yu and I am one of your children's teacher. How is everyone doing? I am doing very good. Today we begin our day with Pledge Allegiance. When you see this American flag, we always show our respect. Let's stand and put your hands on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may sit down. Very good. You did very good. Before we start today's story, we will start with our Bible verses. Can you tell me what color is this? Yes, this is yellow. And how about what shape is this? This is a star. One, two, three, four, five. Five point star. This is a star, yellow star. And our Bible verses for today is Mark 16, 6. It said, he has risen. Let's do it one more time. He has risen. Mark 16, 6. He has risen. Mark 16, 6. This is very short Bible verses, but very important because Jesus has risen. That's what it said. Let's do it one more time. He has risen. Mark 16, 6. In a few days, we will celebrate Easter. Are you ready for the Easter? I love Easter because usually Easter the weather is great and we are very, everyone is very happy and we go to church and celebrate Easter's. And sometimes we paint this egg and we do egg hunting or we gather as a friend, family and friends and we celebrate, we share a meal together to celebrate Easter. But when 2000 years ago, Three days before Easter was not that happy. Matter of fact, it was very sad for Jesus' friend. Because that time, the Jewish leader was very angry and jealous at Jesus. A lot of people, many people follow Jesus and they want Jesus to be their king. And some Jewish leader did not like that. So they had Jesus arrested and crucified him. The crucified means they used this wooden cross to hang Jesus in here, just like this. So Jesus was on the cross and he died on the cross and he didn't do anything wrong. And he is not a criminal. The only thing he did was he loved us and he loved all of us. But they killed him and Jesus died. When Jesus died, his two friends, Joseph and Nicodemus, took Jesus' body and wrapped his body in white linen cloth and put his body to the tomb. That time, people used tomb as cave, or they, they, they used cave as tomb. So they used cave and put the body here and cover with huge big stone, not just like this. Can you see? 
the big stone, they roll the stone and put it inside of the body. So his friend, two friends put Jesus' body in this tomb. And then the Roman soldiers, two Roman soldiers, was keep his tomb because Jesus told everyone, when I die, after three days, I will with I will alive. So the Roman and so Jewish leader, they don't want anybody to steal Jesus' body. So they are the two soldiers was right there and keep the tomb. Three days after Jesus died, in early in the morning, the three ladies named Mary Magdalene, Salome, and Mary, who is Jesus' mother, came, went to see Jesus' body. They brought really sweet spices to fill the spices in the body to keep body clean. And they were just worried, who's going to move this big stone for us because this is so heavy. And they were kind of talking to each other, how, how are they going to move the stone? And they go to Jesus' tomb. And surprisingly, they see the big stone was rolled out, roll, roll away. And they didn't know what's going on. And they went, they ran and looked inside of the tomb. And they found empty tomb. Nothing, no body was there in the tomb. But there was a big light and angel was there. And angel said, Woman, are you looking for Jesus? And they said, yes, we are looking for Jesus. Where is his body? I'm looking for Jesus. And the angel said, Jesus is no longer here in the tomb. He has risen, just like our Bible verse. He is alive. So he's no longer here. And go tell your friends, Jesus is alive. And those three women were very excited and surprised and also confused. But they didn't know what to do. So, so they ran to their friends and talked to them that Jesus is alive. I, they, did, I, they said, I, we didn't see the Jesus body. And Angel said, Jesus has risen. So he's no longer in the tomb. And everybody was surprised and excited and they were so happy. And that day, Jesus came to the, his special helper and showed himself to them. And Jesus told them, I am alive. And Jesus was alive and he is alive today and forever. So, as you see right here, Jesus is alive. He has risen. He has risen. Mark 16, 6. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are alive today and forever. Thank you so much. You die on the cross for our sin. And I pray, Father, help all of us will store your story in our heart and keep that in our heart and rest of our life. Thank you so much for being, being with us and your big promise that you will stay with us all the time. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you and have a great day. So